Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to video four of Classroom Setup. Today is a really exciting day, probably one of my favorite days in setup, which is assembling all of the boards. Now I have talked in the past about how I hate bulletin boards and I hate setting up my walls, but the reality of it is, is I hate deciding on what to put on the walls, but once I make the decisions and have everything created, Actually putting them together is pretty fun. So this vlog is going to be all about dialing in bulletin boards, whiteboards, all of the wall space. So if you want to watch me put this classroom together, keep on watching. All right, well, let's start by giving us a current overview of the room. In the last vlog, I finished all of the borders and paper. And as you can see, it is a hot mess generally. So the last thing I wanna do is like clean up before I leave. However, today we are focusing on this wall, this wall, this bulletin board, this entire whiteboard space, this board, this board, this entire whiteboard space. And I already started over here which I will talk about as we go through. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to very quickly walk you around and tell you what each board is for. And then I'm gonna work on a space, talk about a space, work on a space, then talk about a space. I think that just makes the most sense for my time in here, as well as your time watching this. It's just the most efficient. So that's what we're gonna do. So let me start in the back. Okay, this right here is going to be my class jobs board. So after I set that one up, I will walk you through how that is going to function. And then moving right on over here, I already hung up all of these picture frames. These are just from Dollar Tree and they're not the straightest right now, that's okay. I'm going to eventually make a sign that says like future world leaders or future world changers or I don't know, something cute up there. Um, but this is here for now. My birthdays aren't gonna change. This is going to be my reading bulletin board, so anchor charts and things that we're learning in reading. And I have drawn out this whiteboard space so I know how I'm gonna set it up. I have made all of my titles already. I did that at home on my Cricut. So they're all ready to go. This section of my board is gonna be all about spelling and word work. This is where I'm gonna post the reading centers and rotations. Again, I will walk through all this after it is finished. This is just a spot for anchor charts magnetic shower rods best way to hang anchor charts on whiteboards this is going to be my math center rotation and then my area for team points now i think this is going to be for writing and math or math or i'm sorry or writing and math i haven't decided which one's going to go where and then over here this is our calendar space where i'm going to post our schedule more anchor chart slash just blank whiteboard space and then my second graders versus Mrs. Coates. And then over here is going to be our fact fluency challenge board. This is from Amy Grosbeck. I will link this down below. So once I have all this set up, I will walk you through that space as well. So I'm gonna stop talking and I am going to start putting this classroom together. Quickly, let me show you what I did over the weekend. I cut all of the headings and titles for all of my boards and then I just put them in baggies so I know where they're gonna go and then I can just put them up. This is gonna save me so much time in the classroom and I'm really glad that I did it. what the board looks like when it's all finished. Now I am doing classroom jobs a lot differently than I've done it in the past and I don't want to go too into depth. If you want to see a full video um, on it let me know. So essentially right here I need to make a sign that says star student is and then our star student goes here. This changes every week and the star student does most of the jobs. I am doing jobs like my team teacher because I think it's genius. 
Now, the star student changes every week and they do most of the jobs like teacher helper stuff, like passing out papers, lunch count, pledge of allegiance, all like the little things like that, the star student does. So that changes every week. The other jobs, there are 24 of them, only change every trimester. So the kids are only gonna get three different jobs and they have to apply. This is gonna make management so much easier. Um, so whenever they apply for their jobs and they get their jobs, their student number gets Velcroed underneath their job and then that stays for the whole trimester. So I can quickly reference this, the kids can reference this if they need to know who is who. Um, and I think it's really going to work out well. And I just used the same number labels that I used for my, um, what are they called? Cubbies, and I just made them on PowerPoint. Okay, so I just have them in numerical order right now. So I just used Velcro dots. That way they can easily be um, switched around. And this is a wood cabinet, so I just used double-sided sticky tape to stick everything on here because staples will not work. And then another big management piece that's changing is five minutes at the end of the day is when they do their job. So if you're the menu writer, in those five minutes, you're gonna go up to the board, erase whatever we had for lunch today, write up the new menu, and then your job is done for the day. So it's not something I constantly have to manage and monitor all day long. The star student does most of that stuff. Five minutes at the end of the day, you do your job, and then we're done. I'm so excited to try this out. I think it's going to be... Okay, I'm gonna start getting up some of the other boards and then we will chat about those. Okay, a quick little hack when you're hanging um, bulletin titles. Use like little pins. I don't, can't, you can't, it won't focus. Use little pins to poke the letters in. That way you get the spacing right and then go in and staple. I was originally going to hang like string and do, um, what are they called? Um, clothes pins like Amy Grosbeck does, but I decided against it because one, I can't find the string that I bought and two, it just sounds like a hassle. So I just stapled them. Okay. So what the fact fluency challenge is, is it can be done with addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division, whatever. In second grade, they are mastering addition and subtraction facts. So each week we do a fact fluency test. Once they pass a specific fact family, let's say they pass an adding with fours, they get to come up and either initial with a whiteboard marker or write their student number on that number. We celebrate them and then that gets to hang up all year long. It is just a really good accountability piece. I did something similar when I taught third grade for multiplication, but I think this is a little more primary friendly and I am excited to give it a shot. Okay, so now all of like the colorful boards are essentially done. These are, I think, self-explanatory. Um, I'm really excited to start working on these whiteboards because I have everything mapped out in my head and I think it's gonna look really, really nice once it comes together. So I'm going to just set you guys down and work for like an hour and then I will walk you through everything. of the board is finished so this awesome little pocket chart came from Amazon it's actually a cell phone holder and then I got the little numbered stickers separately also off Amazon um, and essentially the kids are going to cut up their spelling words each week and they keep them in a baggie and then their words are gonna stay in their pockets so they don't get lost I stole this idea from my team teacher 
and I'm obsessed. So organized, so easy to find things. And then one of the student jobs is to organize this to make sure it doesn't look disgusting at the end of every day. So I'm so excited. I love how this turned out. So my reading centers board is finished as well. Again, I can make a whole video on how I'm running centers this year, but essentially these are the different rotations. We're going to do reading centers four days a week. And then these are the different centers. So whatever the word work activity for the day is, I will post here. Whatever the seat work is, I will post here. Whatever my choice is, I will post here. Whatever the writing prompt is, I will write here. And then whatever app they're on, I will put here. I was just using magnets to place these to show spacers. So now when these get taken off, the board looks just like this. board this is a little bit different we're running these differently than ELA centers again I can make a whole video on this if you want this let me know um, essentially these aren't activities going under here these are the different activities and then these are the groups and because our math groups are forever changing I'm just gonna write them on a piece of cardstock and then stick their names under there and then rotate them as we rotate through centers and then down here is going to be a specific poster that I'll talk about another time so the last section over here before I get out of here for today is going to be for team points. This took way longer than I thought, but I love the way that it looks so far. And then next time I will do this board. It'll be in this vlog, just not today. All right, so this is the last section. I've talked about my team points before. This year I'm doing color groups and we are doing money. So if the pink group earns a quarter, I will come up and write 25 cents. And then at the end of the week, we will total up all the money here and the winning team wins for the week. So this whole board is finished. Let me give you a big pan through. day and I started on this side I got here at like 8.05 and it's already 9.30 this little section took so long because when you're somebody like me and if something's like extremely crooked your brain won't function so the first thing I did when I got here was I did all the border around the whiteboard and then I started on my calendar now I have done this calendar literally since my first year of teaching it's just black washi tape and I made all of these calendar numbers. I think they're in my TPT store. I will link them down below if they are. Um, I just prefer this look. I'm not a big pocket chart fan, to be completely honest with you. In my opinion, it just looks a little bit messy. So this is a lot cleaner. Um, these are all just magnet tape on the back. So it's super easy to swap out. This, I changed all of my months, but I had that there just for spacing purposes. 
So I just love the way that this looks. It's super clean. It's really easy for the kids to read and access. So we have the date, the lunch menu, and then how many days we're in school. I'm gonna use coins, I think, to count days of school. So then right next to it over here, we are going to do our schedule, another anchor chart space, and then second graders versus Mrs. Coates. So my goal is to finish this board before 11, and then I have the whole rest of the morning slash afternoon to prep for my sub. <laughs> Okay, so here's the next section. This is uh, just our daily schedule. I just put up some of the cards in an order that I think our schedule is gonna go. Um, this I made with my Cricut. This is Amy Grossbeck font, Born to be Mild, I believe. These are all from Miss West's Best TPT store, her schedule card labels. I will link those down below. Totally match the theme. Love how clean this looks. I'm gonna step back so you can see. I just think it's so beautiful. Um, so then here, I'm just gonna do an anchor chart space, and then I might just actually leave this whole side blank right now. I don't really know, but this was my morning goal and it is accomplished. I actually think I'm gonna step away from this board and pick up my classroom, because tomorrow my sub is coming in and I'm walking her through everything. So I wanna have the classroom at least clean, mostly dialed so I can like show her where things are. Um, but I still have to finish my maternity leave binder. So many of you constantly ask me if there's a video coming. Yes, I do wanna show you. The only reason that it wouldn't be soon would be if I go into labor. Um, so my goal today is to finish that binder so I can film that video for you guys. So. I'm going to put you guys down. I'm going to clean up this classroom. Before I do, I wanna show you how trashed it gets during classroom setup. Okay, because I work and I just like throw things around, this is the current state of my room. <laughs> so that's the front. Here's all the aftermath from this board right here from yesterday. Um, here's the back of my room. This is just still such a hot mess. My table. I mean, there's just stuff everywhere. So I'm going to put you guys down and space by space, pick up this classroom. Okay. This is as good as it's going to get for now. It's obviously not super, super clean, but I'm going to be here for like an hour or two in the morning before she gets here so I can finish up, but I have to get out of here. So I want to quickly show you everything I've done and then we'll end this vlog and get ready for the next one. Okay, so as you saw, fact fluency board is done. I will link that down below. This is the only wall that isn't like finished finished, but I decided that I'm going to create some letters on my Cricut. So I will get that done in a different vlog. These are all finished. My calendar and schedule. I forgot that this was in my car. I just brought this in. This was from our house and my husband didn't want it. And I said, I'll take it. And I think it's perfect because I can put all of this stuff in these drawers and then I can sit right here and do morning meeting and have all the stuff I need for morning meeting. I just thought it was kind of perfect and black. So why not? Um, and then of course you saw me do this entire board. So this whole wall is finished. In another vlog, I need to figure out like all my turn-in bins and everything, but I just can't wrap my mind around that right now because I'm fried. So I'm just loving the way that all of these walls are looking. I just went ahead and put out these for now. Um, but again, I don't know how my desks are fully gonna be laid out. This is a whole just hot mess. Um, and then I have my picture frames, so I just need to make my title but we are really getting towards the end of this. I will probably only have like one more setup vlog before I do a tour, um, which is crazy because that means I'm like done and out of here until January. Ah, that's nuts. Now I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about like my reading centers, my math centers, my jobs, my homework binders, all that stuff. 
So please know that all of those videos are going to be coming. Those are all things that I can film after I have the baby, which is great. But definitely make sure to subscribe so you don't miss those videos, especially if you're a new teacher and you're looking for other ways to kind of implement things. Um, I've taken a lot from my team teacher this year and I'm excited to share with you the things that I'm changing. But definitely make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss those videos. If you enjoy these setup vlogs, make sure you give it a thumbs up. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. And other than that, I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.